carrot cake with chocolate and sugar craft. Objectives. As a result of this lesson, you will be able to Prepare the ingredients for the carrot cake. Use an adequate variety of garnish for the carrot cake. Provide a matching sauce for carrot cake. Check the ingredients and equipment to make sugar decorations and a carrot cake. Prepare the ingredients for sugar decorations and chocolate. Arrange the prepared ingredients on the table. Now, let's start preparing today's main ingredients, carrots and chocolate. Mince the cut carrots in a blender. Mince them so that they will have a soft texture. Mix them again and move them into a bowl. It's time to make the newest butter for the carrot cake. Put sugar in the pot with butter and start melting them. Melt the butter for a long time until you can smell the nutty scent. Bathe the dark chocolate. Mix the milk chocolate. Start working on a carrot cake. Place the newest butter in a bowl after filtering the impurities with the sieve. Put sugar and lower the temperature of the newest butter. Stir the cooling down until it's tepid. Keep stirring the beaten eggs for a soft texture. It's important to add eggs after the sugar. Mix the wheat flour and almond powder. After that, add the minced carrots and mix them again. Put the cake mix on an oven pan and spread it. It should be airtight. To bake evenly, this planning part is essential. Bake the carrot cake mix in the oven preheated to 180 degrees for 15 minutes. And cool it down. Now the brownies. Put eggs and salt in the mixing bowl and mix them well. Melt the butter and dark chocolate together. Be careful for separation of these two ingredients. Otherwise, the dough might tear apart. Mix the melt butter and dark chocolate with a mixture of eggs and sugar. Add almond slices and mix them. After panning the dough on an oven pan, bake it in the oven, preheated to 180 degrees for 15 minutes. Now, let's work on the caramel sandwich cookies. Put the sugar in the pan and caramelize it. This process is not about melting the sugar, but about coloring the sugar. So notice how the color changes. Stir boil the caramelized sugar with whipped cream. Then, add 30 grams of chocolate and 10 grams of butter. Mix them until they make a fine cohesion. Next, the dark garnish cream. Melt the dark chocolate and whipped cream separately in a double boiler. Add the cream to the chocolate and mix them to make a garnish. Add soaked carrots into the garnish and mix them. Let them cool down until they tap it. Whip the cream while the garnish is cooling down. Mix the garnish with whipped cream. Move the garnish cream to a container and keep it in the fridge. Now, the meringue cookies. To whisk meringue, mix the white egg in a bowl and add sugar to it. Mind the consistency while whisking the meringue. Have the meringue very dense so that it won't spread out when piped. Once the meringue is dense enough, add some sugar powder and mix them gently. Then, pipe the meringue to a shape of your choice. 
with an adequate density, mirroring will be piped out like this. Bake it in the oven. Now, the chocolate decorations. Put tempered chocolate in a piping bag. Put a film on the table and pipe the chocolates. And shape the chocolate with the charlotte gun. Roll the film to shape them. This is where we can be creative with the design. Put the chocolates on a tray and solidify them in a freezer. Prepare the fruits to decorate the carrot cake. Tie some mango, kiwi and blueberries to decorate. Now, the carrot cake. Put the baked carrot cake on the cutting board. Evenly spread the caramel cookies on the brownies. And put the carrot cake on top of them. Press them gently so that they can stick to each other. Keep the cake in the fridge. Remove the dark garnish decorations from the freezer and remove the film. Cut each end. Cut the raspberry gummies to a shape of your choice. Cut the solid carrot cake to a shape and size of your choice. Put each dish on the red plate according to the plating order. Lastly, the sugar decorations. Put sugar and water in the pan and melt them until they turn into a light caramel color. Boil them and be aware of the temperature of the sugar. Pour the boiled sugar on the silicon pad. And turn them into one sugar chunk. Use various metal rings to shape them. Put the dark ganache cream in a piping bag. Now, start plating. Focus on plating, since you have a lot of tiny ingredients today. Prepare the fruits. Heat the knife and cut the chocolate decorations to the adequate size and shape for the plating. The chocolate decoration should be as long as the carrot cake. Decorate the carrot cake on a ready plate. We have fruit and chocolate for decorations. Put white chocolate cream on top. When placing the dark ganache chocolate cream, mind the harmony of shape and color. Place blueberries and place a red currant to add a color. Of course, the balance of overall taste is as important as the color. Place kiwi this way to make the perfect combination of sweetness of mango, sourness of a kiwi, and their colors. Finish it with the mint. Place a white silicon pad on the final plate. 
and pipe the dark Ganache chocolate cream and white chocolate cream. Then, spread them with a knife to shape them. Remove the silicon pad. And pipe the white cream to let the chocolate decoration stand straight. Place the chocolate decorations on top. And place the cake between the decorations. See how the size of the carrot cake and the diameter of the decorations are in the perfect fit. This is where you can show your skills. Take a look at how the red currant is bringing a color to a white plate. This is where each competitor can be aesthetic in their own ways. Plating is much like painting on a canvas. Place the marine cookies in various sizes, with some gold dust on top. Finish up with sugar decorations made of metal rings.